Welcome to the Taos Machine Translation and Moses tutorial. Quality and availability of training data are the key factors influencing the performance of any statistical machine translation system. In this module, we will talk about sources of bilingual and monolingual data and overview data selection methodology. Performance of statistical machine translation systems relies on the availability of a large parallel corpus, which is a collection of translated texts or documents in two languages. The parallel corpus should be ideally aligned on the sentence level and used by a translation system to estimate translation probabilities. However, the generation or collecting of such a corpus is a long and extremely resource-demanding process, which in many cases just keeps potential users from empty implementation. However, there are parallel corpora that can be used to train empty systems, uh, which are already available. The first important source of parallel corpora are multinational organizations, like the European Parliament or the United Nations, and uh, also governments of uh, multilingual countries like Canada, Hong Kong or Switzerland. Proceedings of the European Parliament plenary sessions and the European legislation have been translated into main European languages for several years, and it makes enough aligned data available for SMT training. Canadian Parliament proceedings are available in two languages, American English and Canadian French, while United Nations Assembly resolutions are regularly translated into English, French, Spanish, Russian, Chinese, and Arabic. Due to different alignment levels, the amount of available parallel data is measured in different units. Uh, these units can be number of source or target words, number of sentences or paragraphs. Some of the corpora are aligned on the paragraph level, like Agis Corpus of European Legislation, on sentence level, like United Nations Corpus, or provided with the word alignment matrix, like Europile. The second big group of parallel corpora is coming from academia. Some resources are freely available, like the Opus Project Repository, initiated and maintained by York Tiedemann from Uppsala University. Language Data Consortium and ELRA Data Collections supporting language-related research make available a significant amount of parallel data on payment or credit basis. An important source of parallel corpora are translation memories coming from the industry. Taos data, which is a neutral and secure supercloud of industrial translation memories, contains more than 50 billion words across 15 industrial sectors and covers all major world languages. Project-specific translation memories coming from your own translation database, from your customer or supplier, can be also a good source of parallel data for empty training. A simple script will extract parallel corpora from translation memories, which are then can be directly fed to SMT engine. An alternative strategy to get project-specific parallel corpora is to crawl multilingual pages on the web in order to get comparable corpora that can be further converted into parallel one. The crawlers that can be used for that are BigTM and Bytexter. As was described before, a language model that assigns probabilities to target word sequences and is built on a monolingual dataset is an essential part of any SMT system. Classical approach to train a language model is to use a target set of parallel corpus for language model training. However, in practice, additional monolingual information is involved to, enha to enhance the quality of language model. There are several advantages of this approach. The monolingual data is usually easier to obtain than parallel corpora. Domain or project-specific information can be easily or relatively easily harvested from many potentially available sources like manuals, technical documentation, uh, marketing and sales information, translation bio documents, etc. In addition, the monolingual corpora can be used to adapt the MT system to desired domain and can be considered an easy to implement way of MT system customization. Usually, experimentation with language models is difficult since statistical models are highly dependent on their training resources. Perplexity, which is a statistical easy to calculate measure of language model quality, is a good signal of possibly improved translation. In many cases, increased perplexity measured on the target portion of the test dataset serves as a preliminary indicator of the language model usefulness. A rule of thumb here is the lower the perplexity, the better language model is, and accordingly, the better generalization is provided by the complete translation system. Monolingual corpus is much cheaper and easier to obtain than parallel data. 
The GigaWord corpus is a good example of a huge monolingual corpus which can be used to improve statistical MT systems. GigaWord is available in some major languages and is a collection of newswire texts that have been acquired for several years. The most easy to get source of monolingual data that can be obtained internally are in domain text and documents in the target language. Optionally, this information can be called from the web. Some recent research shows that target side monolingual data can be also used to extend the vocabulary of the translation model in SMT engines. It improves the decoder's ability to produce grammatically correct translation into languages which are morphologically richer than the source language. This is typical for many industrial applications. Data selection is one of the hottest topics in modern machine translation. Selecting suitable data is important in all stages of creating an SMT system. The most challenging question is how to define the goodness of data for MT. Three core characteristics of the data are quality, size and coverage. The conventional approach for improving performance of SMT systems is to increase the size of the parallel corpus by adding new training data. However, the availability of parallel data itself doesn't guarantee improved performance. First approach to data selection, followed by Google and any other company offering general purpose MT engines, can be formulated as use as much data as you can get your hands on. The ambition, though, implies availability of Google size data centers and varying delivered quality for different domains. Alternative approach relies on selection of right data that is used to train MT engine and is more suitable for domain specific customized MT solutions. In this case, the corpus size again plays an essential role, but the data should also be as clean as possible. How large the parallel corpus should be to deliver desired translation quality is uh, an empirical question. Uncertainty in estimating the minimal size of parallel corpus is explained by uh, sparseness of statistical dependencies between words and phrases varying from language to language and from domain to domain. It is also influenced by the level of similarity between training corpus and test testing data data set. A general recommendation is that the training material should be not smaller than 800,000 bilingual segments for relatively similar languages, like Spanish and English for example, and contain no less than one 0.2 million segments for more diverse languages like Chinese and English. The main training dataset can be supplemented with in domain data. A good example of such customization of MT engines to a specific task or project is customization of an MT system with domain specific terminology. In many situations, empirical approach is the only way to figure out uh, what is the quality of raw MT output for particular settings. Experimentation with different corpora and MT techniques is essential to understand the usability of MT for your project. And that is all about bilingual and monolingual data for machine translation. Thank you for your attention.